Well, hello, y'all. We got a little white stuff on the ground. So what that means is I didn't go to work today working on a solar shed. I stayed home instead, and we're going to be building batteries. And so I've got this one that's been top balanced, and it's time to put it into series, put the wiring harness in for the BMS, and get it all wired up and fired up. And I've got a video about that if you want to see how I do that. And then all over here, I'm going to take another box, and I've got all the parts laid out, and I'm going to make this one like this one so I can top balance it. And then I'm going to take some of these cells and put in there to top balance. But that's not what this video is about. It's a little update. But this video is about, I have tested the first 16 cells that I got from Dokkan Technology and Jenny Wu. And I wanted to let you know how that testing came out. Um, it didn't happen as quickly as I would have liked because I was, I've been working really hard on the solar shed and been trying to beat the weather. I did get a lot done before this bit of ice and snow and sleep came. And we're going to have quite a few days of super cold weather for us uh, down into the teens at night and only up into the low 30s during the daytime in that range. And so I will be working on batteries and, oh, and figuring out what's wrong with the coffee machine so that I can get that one back up and running. Um, the test results on the cells from Jenny Wu came in all above uh, the specification. The, they're, they're 280 amp hour EVE cells, and they all came in above 280. The lowest were in the mid 280s, 280 point something, and the highest were 284 point something. Most of them were 282 or 283 point something. I find it fascinating that the manufacturers can create cells the way these are, that come in so close together. Um, but they do, and so I feel uh, I feel pretty good about the cells that so far that I've gotten from Jenny Wu. I will continue to test these cells, and I will um, I need to get these off the bench and get the next batch up there. And I will, if I find any anomalies, I will of course contact Jenny Wu. I don't expect to, but if I do, I will contact her. And in the first comment or in the description, I will uh, update uh, as we go along. Always read the description on my videos because uh, because I don't edit the videos. Uh, I can't overlay. I don't overlay the image with corrections like a lot of people do. And so whatever you need to know about uh, if I misspoke or anything like that is always going to be in the description. And I, I talk a little slow to try to make sure that I don't misspeak, and I've done pretty well with that. But always check that description. And in this case, if there's any anomalies that I need to report on about the testing, the future testing of the rest of the batch of cells, I will put that in the description. All right, so I'm going to get... I'm going to get busy and start building batteries. I'll probably be here for the next two or three days because it's really just too cold for me to to work in the cold. I, what I'm doing doesn't work well with gloves, and it doesn't work well with fingers that are frozen solid. So I'm going to wait until I have some daytime highs, at least in the 40s. <laughs> all right, this is Texas after all. And then I'll get back started. Uh, I've got the, on the update on that, I've got the walls built. Most of the sheathing is on. I've got all the beams done. Um, 
and all of the perimeter framing for the roof. So the roof is ready to go. I'm getting the boards that are going up, I'm getting them sanded on the ground prior to uh, installing because the last time I had my painter sanding them overhead, I didn't expect for them to be exposed. And then once I put them up there, decided to, to put the roof insulation, uh, the insulation above the roof instead of below. And so then all of a sudden they were exposed and he had to sand overhead. This time I'm getting him to sand uh, the boards on the ground before I put it up. And then all the work, uh, doing all the framing and everything, that's all just me. Every once in a while I get him to help hold another, hold the end of something, but really I just keep him going on the uh, finish work. So, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you for all the support that the channel has seen. And uh, I will put another link to this, uh, to Jenny Wu for, uh, for contacting her about these cells. Uh, she has proven once again to supply cells that meet the specifications. They all look pristine. They all are testing well. And so uh, I, think, uh, I think it's quite the value uh, supplier. When you contact her, mention the channel. I'll get a slight benefit, financial benefit from that. Not nearly what typically happens when you click a an affiliate link on these other videos that you see, but but it does help um, a little. And that's all for this one. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to, uh, I've got a couple more coming up uh, in my head. I, I've been too busy to make videos and I really feel bad about it. I, I have found time to comment on the, uh, to reply to comments in the comment sections. I really appreciate you're uh, taking time to comment on the videos. It's uh, really good, and uh, it's a it's a boost sometimes too. There's a lot of kind people that watch these videos. Apparently, thank you very much for that. Y'all take care. See you on the next one.